Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at rates and 10-year note yields nudging ever lower, even closer to the 280 line in the sand. Call treasures have been really kind of trading range since the end of May. It's been a 280 to 3%. Yeah, I know we danced about 3% for about a day or so, but it's really been a 280 to 3% range. And now we are, after just you know a couple weeks ago, looking at possibly trading north of 3%. Now we're testing the lows of that range at 280, uh, possibly with pushing through to, you know, when you get below 275, I think it really changes the structure of what we've seen in the treasury market, which has been the Fed's push for longer yields, uh, longer, higher yields in the back end of the curve to help possibly keep that yield curve from going inverted due to what's going on in the front end uh, with the two-year note. So right now we are seeing a test of those lows that is not going to help the Fed do anything as far as its yield curve uh, manipulation, we'll call it, might be. But I, I think ultimately the buyers are coming. It's more of a flight to quality. Yes, the, the, the tensions between China and the U.S. trade have, have sort of calmed, but they're still out there. Likewise, issues in Turkey, whether it be the lira or issues in Europe, whether it be Italian, uh, Italian bonds. The, there's a lot of risk out there that is starting to come to the surface. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And I think right now the market sees smoke. Uh, if you look over in the equity markets, you're not seeing that reflected in risk assets. However, you did see a nice bounce in gold today. So risk assets seem to perform, although equities would be the standalone that, that sort of uh, the risk asset that, that did perform well today. Um, but Treasury yields, again, nudging lower down towards those lows we haven't seen in a long time. And if you look at what we have ahead, I, mean, I think a lot of the focus a few months ago would be on these August FOMC minutes. I think that goes out the window this week. Yeah, we'll look at them and read them and we'll say, yeah, that's great. What what comes next? And what comes next is going to be the Jackson Hole Symposium. And right now, if Chairman Powell is scheduled to speak on Friday morning, that is going to be the key moment because right now, with the way the yield curve is trading, with the way the back end yields are continuing to decline, that could be a significant part of his discussion if he wants to continue to raise rates at once in September, once again in December, and then possibly again in 2019. He needs something to get those longer end yields higher. And up to this point, they haven't been able to do it. Maybe he talks about balance sheet manipulation. Perhaps he talks about something else that we haven't really looked at. Uh, but it's going to come; from, has to come from somewhere. If we're going to continue to rate, see the Fed raise rates, we're going to have to see the back end of the yield curve play nice. And right now, it is not playing nice. And when if we look at maybe the key force here, which is going to keep yields low in the back end of the curve, leverage fund speculators are the most short ever since they started recording it, according to TFF data. And that only goes back to 2006, but CFT, uh, CFTC data goes back a lot further. It doesn't differentiate quite the same, but certainly we are seeing leverage funds hold those shorts, if not add to them. This cannot end well if yields continue to go lower, especially for a sustained period. So right now, that is one of the real risks here in the market is that we see buyers come in covering shorts and push those yields lower, possibly blowing through that 275 level, which should hold in normal times. But given that everybody is at the max short, we could see a trade down to two and a half if things really get ugly. So right now, the back end of the curve is really the risk that we're seeing. The yield curve getting flatter and likely going to go inverted if the Fed stays its path. And those speculators, those, those leverage funds uh, out in the back end of the curve don't do something with those shorts before too long. So right now, holding the range still 280 to 3%, but knocking on 280. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the Seaman Group.